for all the people that will be, students will be watching, I hope this DVD and teachers, what did you learn, carry away from all those years in the King Singers about ensemble singing? I always have in the back of my mind a, a string quartet and how they work together and the speed in which they relate to each other. And I think you can set up something similar in a choir. Exactly. Young musicians like these, you know, when, they're, when you challenge them, you can see the pennies dropping everywhere. Yeah, diphthong, down, down. Yeah, I like those. And you do it by ear, right? You do it absolutely by ear. Very nice, going on now, pianissimo. Once more, once more, well done, bass is that's tough, that one. Let's enjoy that chord for a minute. Could you sing the I chord, pianissimo? A bit less bass. Yes, could we take out the, lead, the top two parts, so the tenors and basses? Minuendo. Add the altos. Add the sopranos. Diminuendo. Diphthong. Yeah. That now I have had students and graduate students, good ones, who said, I wish he would just tell us what to do and we'll do it. Uh, I, that's not how I make music. I want to, to involve everybody in the process. I tend to do warm ups. I always try to do something which has some sort of pitch complexity or some things which need, it doesn't come, it's not repetitive, it's always something a little bit different. Now try the augmented fourth again. <laughs> Ten, let's go to the fifth. Everybody else go back down. Diminuendo. Bass is down an octave. Alto is down a fourth. Soprano is up a major third. Tune, tune, tune. Down a half step, soprano. So beautiful minor chords, aren't they? I think that everybody needs to sense the suspension. And in fact, even whatever choir I'm working with, I tend to do the first thing I do. First of all, is putting in the word stress, make sure that that's clearly understood. And if it doesn't fit well with the composition, then do another piece. But with somebody like Lassus, he knew exactly how to do this. All the singers um, and all the composers, the Latin text, they would have learnt how to speak it, how to the rhetoric of it, they yes. would have known exactly that. And then the use of the suspension, the tension and the relaxation. And you can see, watching these young singers, when they get that sense of going into a close suspension where it's you're just hanging there and then it relaxes. It's so powerful. Tenors. Let's just go as far as there. Just a hail word. Look at Lassus. Fantastic what he does there. The tenors go yum tee and the altos team tee. It's only three pitches, but it's remarkably expressive, right? Sopranos, what do you have, ladies? Team ta da da dee. Okay. Now, when they sang this music, did they have a score? No, they only had a part. So you had your own part only. But you were so, your ear was so tuned and you knew the text, this particular text, you probably knew it very well. So you'd be listening for the first exulate. <gasps> Altos. Wish I was an alto. Damn it, I'm a bass. I've got to carry on. But I think there's some really marvelous teaching points and it's the kind of thing that I think with the menu that they see to just go and revisit mm -hmm. and to read the booklet that goes with this, to just, you know, try to integrate, you know, and think about the idea. I hope people walk away with maybe a little different view than they did before they started started the DVD.